Hi guys, Alex here and welcome back to installing Ice Cream Sandwich on a Wildfire S Part 2. Today I'm going to be showing you how to actually get Ice Cream Sandwich on. To do this you will need to follow step 1 in terms of unlocking the bootloader. So make sure you check out that video, I'll put a link in the description below. So the first place you need to go is XDA, XDA Developers, specifically to this page, again link in the description below. And this is one route for um, the Wildfire S. Um, this is basically a route for the system and it also includes a um, recovery hack, uh, which I'll show you in a bit. So basically you'll need to download this file down here, download you can either get it from Mac or Windows. I'll be demonstrating Windows here. Just go and download it. Up here, download, direct download, or you can add it to your Dropbox if you prefer. Um, then, go, then you need to unzip it onto your desktop. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials if you don't know how to unzip files. So go to my desktop. Here I've got already extracted it. Go on here. And you need to open it up. It includes all the files you'll need. Now, now run root one click dot bat. You get echo is off. Bezo 609's routing utility for HTC Marvel 1.3. Just a quick note as well, um, do I have it? Just quickly switch to that. Um, no, you're okay. So, if you go go to this, press any key to continue. Basically, you'll need to make sure you've got your um, phone plugged in and turned on, or as it should be. And it will then push root the root onto the SD card. It'll take pro approximately 30 seconds, depending on the speeds of your computer and USB and stuff. But on average, I think it takes about 30 seconds to go through this. So once you've installed the custom bootloader, you need to go back to XDA Developers and get an, an ice cream sandwich ROM. Personally, I use MIUI, which I find to be quite reliable. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. You can also, um, there's also quite a few others. List of um, gin, um, stock gingerbread, if you want to use that. Ice cream sandwich. Or for developers only, 4.1 or Jelly Bean. Though it, though I hear that it's they're pretty much completely unstable and definitely not recommended for normal use. The camera doesn't work. US, some USB stuff, stuff isn't working. Not boot it. Yeah, so I definitely would not recommend using these. So I'm personally using MIUI, but you can use any of these. Uh, no, what's that? So you need to go down and download it. Which I'm not going to do since it will take a while, but you'll want the latest version and the Odex one. Get that. Okay, wait for it to download. Then leave it to download. Once you've done that, you'll need to put it onto your SD card, either using a micro SD converter, or by plugging your phone in over USB, then go into my computer and putting it there. Just leave it as a zip file it downloads as. I'm not going to demonstrate that on camera since it's pretty self explanatory. Just put what you need to do is put it on your SD card. Very simple. Now going to the phone you need to turn it on while holding the power down button. Hold the power down, then push power. And you'll be brought to a pass boot screen like this. You'll then need to go down, once it's finished loading, to recovery. So push one down and hit the power button to select it. It'll then load into the custom bootloader you just installed. You'll then need to go down to install zip from SD card 
choose zip from SD card and you'll need to go and select the uh, packages you put on there earlier so once you've selected the zip from the uh, recovery system it should all install and you just need to exit out and reboot your phone and then it'll just boot into a new recover or into a new system uh, and then on you pretty much go through the step by step wizard that you would no normally for Android and install all your apps and your way. It's all very simple once you've got it installed. I'm not gonna show any of that since I don't have a since my phone's way set up and I don't have to reinstall it all just for a video. It's not worth the hassle. So thank you guys for watching. Till next time, goodbye.